All right, so people were asking about these, like, how do you make one? How do you get the dimensions? What the blah, 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 you know. Anyways, this is for 40 millimeter, this one. Uh, it's 10 millimeters wide. It's a 90 millimeter piece of round stock cut off. <clears throat> um, basically, what you would do is take your 80cc head gasket, put it down, and you want to take this round circle and make find a way to find the center of it. And that's where you would do it. Let's put it right in the center of that 90 millimeter piece of uh, round stock cut off. And trace it all out. Trace your holes. Drill those out on like a drill press or something. And basically you want to cut this whole entire pattern of that head gasket inside there. And just cut it right out. Right down through, straight through. You would flip this over. And you would take your Minarelli head gasket. Voila. And you put it on top. Line up your holes. Trace that out since it's slightly bigger. And basically you just want to... Uh, I mean you could even take a uh, Dremel if you really wanted. And just cut uh, angled transitions. Because these are going to be the only three spots you got to actually cut. That's it. Oh, and the other thing too is you know where to cut it off there by putting the head gasket on. Like where to find the flat two dead ends. So, anyways. Yeah, it's just a round piece, 90 millimeter round stock. And uh, use these two angles to cut the two edges off. You first want to trace out, you know, your head gasket this side, however you're going to cut that. I mean, this is done on a milling machine, so, but, uh, so are these. But just saying uh, that you could do it in theory. I do see people doing it on uh, YouTube and stuff, but that's basically how you get the patterns. This is a 80cc head gasket pattern. You would fully cut this all the way through. Flip it over, take your Minarelli one, line up the holes, and cut them about halfway through so that their transfers and stuff are angled slightly, as you can see. And that's it. So, you know, the cleaner the job, the smoother and stuff, you know, the easier stuff moves like anything in a motor. But yeah. 10 millimeters for 40 millimeter stroke, 8 millimeters for a 38 millimeter stroke. So, and believe it or not, it's pretty cool. And if you get them a little thicker, about 10 millimeter too, I mean, you got two options with these. You can either put the uh, gasket maker on one side, which usually goes right down on the block in between this. Well, your bottom end. And then you would use the Minarelli head gasket. And usually people will tighten them down until you get the correct squish level. I don't do that. I use a Minarelli gasket and an 80cc gasket. Which comes out to like a mil, like 1.2 millimeters, I think. Something like that. And I grind these off till they get to the correct height of what I want the squish to be inside the... Uh, so, alright, peace.